How will Jupiter and Capricorn speak to you and your sign? Find out at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous Scorpio. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of December 2019. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. In the middle of the month, we will have a full moon. Now, this full moon happening right around the 12th of the month will be speaking with Neptune in a conversation of tension. And simultaneously, Mars in your sign will be speaking in supreme harmony with Neptune as well. It is going to be Venus simultaneously meeting Pluto in the sky, your ruling planet. So there's so much going on right around the middle of the month. On the one hand, that full moon speaking with Neptune in and of itself, considering it is happening in a part of the sky for you that on the one hand has to do with your own sense of transformation and regeneration, psychological, physical, or otherwise. On the other hand, it has to do with your access to resources, emotional resources and financial resources as well in terms of your relationship with financial institutions. So with the connection with Neptune that this full moon is making, all may not necessarily be as it seems. There might be some confusion at this time, and I'm so sorry to say, but sometimes this can indicate disappointment as well, possibly based on incorrect information. And so if there are any kind of important documents, especially related to a financial arrangement that need to be signed, I would encourage you not to do that in the days around the full moon if possible. Now, if you have to do it, then you have to trust your life and do what shows up for you to do. However, if it is that you have a choice, um, I would encourage you not to do that because either you're not seeing the whole picture, you're missing some key details. What can also happen with this is that uh, where it is you're making that financial agreement, that other party may not be as transparent as, as they should be or as you would prefer them to be. On another level, if it is that you are uh, engaged in a process of transformation, this can be a time when you are feeling like you should, right? You know, the woulda, shoulda, coulda, like you should be making more gains, it should be different. Uh, that's where you wanna be a little bit careful because every space has its perfection. But look, here's the thing, Mars speaking in supreme harmony with Neptune, you are filled with faith and power. Mars is your ancient ruling planet and in your sign is especially strong and able to bring forward its very best qualities of strategy, of empowerment, of focus. You have all of that now with you. Whatever it is that feels that maybe it isn't as you would like it to be ideally, simultaneously you are feeling very empowered to go about creating the changes that you desire. And that really is where the sweet spot is of this energy. Now I would also add with Venus speaking with Pluto or rather connecting with Pluto in the sky simultaneously on the same day, that really is love. Now that could be universal love, familial love, friendship love, romantic love, I'll talk about that in a moment. But this is a feeling of love and ease coming to you, showing up for you. And so where it is that an important conversation needs to happen, I would encourage you to talk. Talk about your experience, talk about what you're feeling, especially around the middle of the month, because it is through communication that love is able to find you that much more, especially under the light of this full moon. Now, the big news this month, of course, is Jupiter. It is going to be right around the second of the month that Jupiter will change signs. This is very exciting. Now, there is a special horoscope uh, in the first days of December. It'll be on YouTube, on my website as well, in the superstar space as well for your sign. So have a look, it's all over the place. Uh, but I'm, I hope that you love the video that is out very soon. Having said that, let me say, for you, having Jupiter move into a part of the sky that has to do with mind and learning and communication, well, it makes it so you are able to ask for just about anything you want and get it. But it also makes it so that you are more aware of synchronicity and how powerful it is playing out in your life. This is energy of you being in the right place at the right time, meeting the right person, 
and it can change so much for you. Now, if it is you really wanna see how good this transit can be, I would encourage you to look at what is happening at this month's solar eclipse. Right around Christmas day, we are going to have a solar eclipse. Now at this solar eclipse, the sun will be meeting Jupiter in the sky. Now this meeting has been called the luckiest day of the year. However, you add the energy of a solar eclipse right there with this meeting as well. Well, it is truly adding energy and electricity and excitement to the mix. So very, very quickly, synchronicity is going to be operating so high. You may find yourself in a seemingly random conversation that has truly life changing possibilities. This can be a sibling, cousin, or neighbor either uh, telling you of big changes in their life or facilitating a really big change in your life, a huge opportunity in your life. Either scenario is possible here. At the same time, this could be you just getting an email or a letter or a document of some kind that is truly great news that finds you now. The important thing with eclipses is to be open. That's the thing. It's important not to have like a stated intention and say, no, I want to use this for this to go this way but rather to stay open to see where it is and how it is the universe could deliver something even better than anything you're imagining for yourself. It really is that special a time and your own receptivity and curiosity and willingness to just see where it is the winds take you, well, chances are you'll end up somewhere that you love very much. Now, where it comes to matters of love, I'm going back to the energy that I uh, shared with you around that full moon, because in addition to the areas I mentioned, that full moon can also speak to um, really getting to know another person deeply and wanting to be known by another as well. And it's the secrets that we consciously keep. So as you can imagine with this energy and all that Neptunian confusion, uh, this can be a sense of you learning something about someone else or you sharing something that ends up feeling as if it's too much or it's too much information or you hadn't anticipated that. That might leave you with some mixed feelings. Also, at the same time, when we have important energy in this part of the sky, the superficial is just not going to cut it. You really want someone that you can feel deeply, a core shaker, as I like to say. However, with Neptune speaking with the full moon at this time this way, it can be hard to figure out whether or not that is here. If you're open to meeting someone new at this time, just keep in mind that it's very easy to get very caught up in a moment uh, and to have a, a certain physical reaction to a particular person in a moment. And if it's okay with you to keep it at a moment, then that's great. Do what you like in light of your unique circumstances. However, at this time, it seems like you may have an interaction with someone. And even though it can serve uh, as a catalyst of sorts, all is not as it seems. And there may be uh, other factors there that either complicate the situation or um, bring a certain lack of clarity that might actually be needed and it isn't obvious that there's a lack of clarity right away. So that is something that you may want to take into consideration in the days around the full moon. For those of you who are just getting to know somebody, uh, it can be this full moon that is revealing and leaves you with mixed feelings. So whether it is you that ends up revealing more than you anticipated and then you feel particularly vulnerable or whether it is the other person who ends up revealing something to you and it leaves you with mixed feelings. Now, either of these are possible at this time, but my hope is that you trust the perfection. Remember, we do have you being very empowered at this time, feeling very awakened, especially on a physical level. With Mars being activated in your sign, it does tend to serve as an awareness of yourself. And so whatever a moment shall bring, it really is okay for you to trust it and navigate it. Just know that, yes, if it is that it feels as you're starting to share something that you know maybe you're not ready to be this vulnerable it's okay to trust that instinct and if it is that it feels that someone has shared something with you and you have mixed feelings about it there is a way for you to um, 
honor the space in which it was shared, but also to honor yourself and your own instincts as to what it's going to mean for you going forward from here. And for those of you in an established bond, that full moon in the middle of the month can bring some flux or some uncertainty to your spouse's income. That is one way that this energy does work out. However, no worries there. Uh, remember, the energy is so empowered and good for you that whatever may be transpiring there literally just represents a moment before the two of you find a mutual sense of clarity and empowerment. I would say though, around this full moon, it is important if you can help it, it's not always the case, but if possible, maybe don't have really important conversations around this time. And that is because of uh, the different energies and how they're playing out. It does uh, suggest that there's very strong emotion and a sense that it's very all or nothing when it needn't be. And it's very easy to get very intense around this full moon with Venus meeting Pluto in the sky, especially through words when a softer and more understanding and more expansive approach probably is going to serve the two of you best. Now, regardless of what it is that does transpire, know that you will continue to have Venus in the first three weeks of the month moving through a communication oriented part of the sky. And so whatever does transpire, you will find ways to find an understanding. What I love about this month for you, well, it's got to be Jupiter, right? Jupiter is making a supremely harmonious alignment, a rare alignment with the Uranus in the middle of the month. The sweet spot, as I'm saying, is December 8, 9, and 10. Anything that matters to you, that's important to you to do, I would advise you to do it then in relation to Jupiterian matters. But for all that, this really is a time when you are embarking on a phase of finding your voice, your unique voice in the world, what it is that you have to share and what vehicle that's going to take. And if you feel as you're starting this month that you don't really know what that is or you think you do, just wait till we get to the eclipse where new opportunities could come out of nowhere, including, I will add, media opportunities as well right around Christmas Day. Don't be surprised if someone puts a microphone and a camera right in front of you and you are in front of the world. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes, a new moon hangout and meditation that we do together, and so much more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.